Good morning and welcome back to the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. My name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning. If you're watching us live on Facebook, thank you for that. And if you're checking us out later, we do upload these shows to www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. You can find audio and video versions there to check out. Getting into your traffic this morning at the 710 hour. Uh, looking pretty good on I-12 so far with some minor on-ramp delays. Do want to remind folks, kids return to school on Friday, so you're going to have your normal school traffic here on Monday. Uh, you're looking at some minor delays at 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190. It's currently 81 degrees, uh, 93 going to be your high today. So it is going to get warm. We're having a bit of a warming trend over this coming week. It's going to cool off later in the week, but the first couple of days through about Wednesday, Going to be looking at some highs in the 90s and some overnight lows. Tonight's going to be 77, so some pretty warm overnight lows, so prepare yourselves for that. Today, you're looking at a 30 to 40% chance of isolated thunderstorms this afternoon, starting between 12 and 1 p.m. and lasting into the evening, so it'll be a good idea to grab that umbrella on your way out the door. On Friday, we recorded a podcast with Assessor Jeff Taylor. We talked again uh, about being able to, uh, I guess you can say, challenge uh, your home value. Uh, one of the things we discussed was that the books will remain open today, uh, so you can call or go to his office. Please remember, if you go to his office, you're going to have to deal with COVID-19 restrictions. Uh, not as many people allowed in the lobby at any given time, that sort of thing. But you can challenge the value uh, of your home as it appears on the roll, so please remember that. Please remember that his office uh, is by all the governmental buildings in the courthouse in Livingston. Uh, of course, also, if you are still working on your home from the Great Flood of 2016, if you bring pictures and photographic evidence that you are, in fact, working on your home, they will continue to give you that flood discount. Otherwise, that flood discount falls off this year. So please remember that going forward. Also, there will be a small COVID-19 discount that will be applied if you are a business Please go watch that podcast. We spend a little bit of time, uh, about three-fourths of the way through, talking about specifically what you're going to need to bring to the assessor's office to get a COVID-19 discount on your commercial property. Uh, so please go check that out. Uh, we spent about, about 38, 40 minutes talking. A lot of details in there. You can find that podcast at www.livingstonparishnews.com backslash podcast. Of course, we have audio and video versions for you to check out. Over the weekend, President Donald Trump, who received the Republican uh, nomination to run for president, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, visited Lake Char visited the Lake Charles area uh, after granting the governor's uh, disaster declaration. And of course, the governor is now looking for two more parishes that would be Vernon and Rapides to be added to that major da disaster declaration, which would, it was upgraded to, for immediate assistance and immediate FEMA funding. We will see what the president does today with that. Of course, Laura being uh, sort of dominating the headlines last week, it's going to make the show a little short. Uh, we don't have uh, much to discuss because there was quite a bit, especially at the end of the week last week in preparation for Laura that was canceled. Uh, however, Representative Buddy Mincy Jr., Christ Community Church, as well as the Rescue Alliance has brought uh, goods and services over to the Lake Charles area and areas north. The Livingston Parish Sheriff's Office uh, is operating out of Allen Parish, which is just to the north of Lake Charles, uh, trying to help folks there uh, get you know, get their electricity back by clearing out trees and that sort of thing. They're also helping local law enforcement. Good morning, Ms. Karen. Thanks for joining us. So if you know of anybody uh, that has been over there that has been helping, please tell them to send pictures and some information to David Gray. Uh, you can find him on Facebook or you can email him david at lpn1898.com. We are looking for Livingston Parish residents uh, who have gone over and who have helped out uh, with the Laura recovery. Getting into your COVID-19 statistics real quick, 147,867 cases. That's an increase of 1,645 over the weekend. Please remember there's only one weekend update now for COVID. There is nothing on Saturday. And then you get a small update on Sunday, which encompasses two days of reporting. 4,768 deaths over that two-day period, which is an increase of 27. 
and 1,868,750 tests, which is an increase of 40,772. 127,918 individuals have recovered. 902 are hospitalized on 143 ventilators. Today, we will have a podcast with Superintendent Joe Murphy. He and I will be sitting down in about an hour and a half uh, to discuss the newest development with the Livingston Parish Public Schools. That will be students' grades three through five will now be eligible for a five-day instruction. Uh, third graders will start five-day on Wednesday, and of course, we'll go through the rest of the week. Fourth graders on Thursday, and fifth graders on Friday. Uh, so really, the first full week uh, will start next week, of course. A week from today is Labor Day, so don't forget that. Also want to let people know we will not have a Labor Day show, just an FYI. But we will be sitting down with Superintendent Joe Murphy to talk to him about where the school system is going, uh, what sort of benchmarks they were waiting for, how they expect teachers uh, to handle this. And, of course, during his statement, uh, Superintendent thanked teachers and principals. He knows this is a strange time, a difficult time, and he appreciates their flexibility. So, again, grades three through five will be returning to five-day instruction uh, beginning Wednesday. Third graders will start Wednesday, fourth graders on Thursday, and fifth graders, of course, will start Friday. So technically, the next full week won't be next week because Labor Day is that Monday, but the week after that will be the first full week. But don't forget, even though Labor Day is next week, kids' grades pre-K through five will be expected to go to school all four days, so Tuesday through Friday. Now, please remember that Group C, which is the virtual group, in those in those grade uh, in those grades, which would be three through five, still available for virtual learning. If you have someone at home uh, who is at high risk, that sort of thing. So there are still the virtual learning for those grades is still going to be available, and we will talk more with Superintendent Joe Murphy about that in the podcast today. Expect it to be released around noon, uh, and of course we will push it on social media this afternoon. Getting into those mitigation efforts real quick, and of course, it's always a good thing to put to not push these on your kids, but push your kids to do these things. Uh, wash your hands with soap and water for 20 seconds or more. Wear a mask in public. Uh, it is a mandate six feet or more distance between yourself and others. Control your cough and sneezing with an elbow or a tissue. Don't touch your face, my favorite one. Uh, and for that controlling your cough, please make sure it's your own elbow. 25 or less to a gathering and stay home if you're sick and utilize telehealth to get in touch with your doctor and stay home to work if at all possible. Told you guys it was going to be a quick show getting back into this traffic real quick. I-12 looking clear at this time and flowing. Uh, of course, you know, that's all relative, but it is still moving. On-ramp delays uh, you'll face at Range Avenue as well as Jubin Road. Only minor on 447 and Walker. School is back in session today, so expect that regular school traffic, especially around those large high schools. Even though we do have 50% of kids going back, uh, it's still causing a little bit of traffic in the mornings. Minor delays at 4-H Club Road, River Road, and 190. It's currently 81 degrees, going to be a warm one today, going to get up to 93. Have a bit of a warming trend over the next couple of days. Going to cool off later in the week, uh, but you are looking at an overnight low of 77, so it's going to be warm out there tonight. 30 to 40 percent chance of rain beginning between 12 and 1 p.m. That's going to last into the evening. Good idea to bring that umbrella to work. One last time, my name is McHugh David, publisher and editor of the news. Appreciate you guys joining us this morning for the Livingston Parish News Morning Show. Please remember we're on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube. We are once a week in print on Thursdays at seven dollars a month to get that in your mailbox. We're also online, as mentioned, www.livingstonparishnews.com. We have a podcast page, which is free, a coronavirus page, which is free, and a breaking news page, which has arrests, uh, accidents, as well as state and national news for you to check out, and all that is free. Again, I uh, want to remind folks that we do have a podcast coming up in about an hour and a half with the superintendent, where we're going to talk to him uh, about some of these decisions to move three to five, or grades three to five, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, into five-day-a-week instruction, especially since we are still in phase two. Uh, so we're going to be talking to him about that. We do hope you check that out. We'll be pushing it this afternoon. It'll probably be online uh, right around the lunch hour for people to check out. Uh, do appreciate, again, you joining us this morning. We hope you have a great day. Please remember to grab that umbrella before you leave, just in case. And we will see you tomorrow morning.